Welcome to this Facebook Live, where today we're going to talk, is the monthly membership rebuild after divorce a good fit for me? Will it work for me? Now, I don't know where you're coming from, but the other day on Facebook Live, I was talking how the temperature got to 28. Today, it's going to be a lot warmer. And after this Facebook Live, I'm going to go out in my garden and also take a walk in the country because those are things that replenish me mentally and spiritually, just immersing myself in God's creation. So I encourage you, even if it's for a brief time in the next couple of days, take some time, do something that lifts your spirit, gives you a sense of relief and restores your health mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So let's get started. How do you know if rebuild after divorce is going to work for you? Well, first of all, rebuild after divorce is a good fit if you right now are stuck, overwhelmed, are struggling with all the emotional pain that comes with separation and divorce. Because Rebuild After Divorce, we're gonna give you the school, yeah, the tools, the tips, the strategies, tactics uh, to help you express and work through your emotions in a healthy, constructive way. The last thing we want you to be doing is stuck and stew in feelings of bitterness or resentment. We don't want you to be swallowed up by feelings of hurt and sadness. So we're going to help you work through that time of difficult emotions. Another way you know rebuild after divorce will work for you is if you feel isolated in your separation and divorce. You really don't have contact with others who are going through this difficult time. And you want to be around women who have successfully moved on this path of beginning anew. Inside the Rebuild membership, we have at least eight women who have successfully, are successfully, moving toward a life of meaning and purpose. Inside the monthly membership, we have women at all stages of the rebuild process. But I found it was really helpful for me if I could witness, watch women who had gone through this process, done the work successfully as they began anew. Another reason you know rebuild after divorce is a good fit for you is if you've lost sight of who you are, you've lost sight of what your giftings are, the strengths of your personality, what your talents are, because in rebuild after divorce, we're going to do different assessments and inventories so that you can gain clarity. Who has God created you to be? And how are you going to live that out on a daily basis? You also know rebuild after divorce is a good fit for you if you have trouble focusing. Everything in your life seems fragmented. You have trouble making decisions because one of the specific inventories we're going to do is a values inventory. So that again, you can decide, well, what are my values? And then when you have to make choices and decisions, you can make them out of knowing what's most important to you. What do you value? What are your priorities? And are you living them out as you move forward in life? Well, let me give you some questions that I have received about how do I know if rebuild works for me? One person said, well, right now, Georgia, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling and afraid. I'm just gonna be stuck, stay stuck in the emotional pain forever. Well, it does feel that way. It does feel like you'll never get out of all those intense emotional feelings. 
And those feelings can be pretty inconsolable. You're sure they're gonna destroy you. And there really isn't a painkiller for the, a lot of that intense pain, but there are things that you can do to handle it in a healthy way. So in Rebuild After Divorce, we're not gonna tell you to get over it. We're not gonna tell you to get strong and move forward. We're gonna help you grieve all the things that you've lost and no longer can be. We're gonna remind you as a group, the pain, the emotional pain of separation and divorce will not last forever. Yes, it'll probably last longer than you think, but it's not gonna last forever. And working through those feelings is the only way to healing and new life. So short-term, it hurts, but long-term, it's healing and helpful to deal with all that emotional pain. One comment I often hear from women who have completed a rebuild after divorce, they'll say, I just shudder to think where I'd be today if I hadn't begun this journey, if I hadn't been with a group of women who get what it is like to be in my life, who were safe, who didn't judge me, who were encouraging and really truly cared and prayed for me. I don't even wanna think that they often say where I'd be today. So if you wanna be at a different place months and years from now, you wanna think about joining, in fact, join <laughs> Rebuild After Divorce. Another question or concern I get is, Divorce is exhausting. I'm just exhausted mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. And that's true. Divorce does drain us of all our resources. We are spent in every area. We are overwhelmed. And we wonder where we're even going to get the energy to begin again. How are we even going to have the willpower to start over? But rebuild is a skill all of us need. And it's not just necessarily after divorce or separation. Life happens, tough times happen, and it's a skill we want to have not only for ourselves, but be able to help others, um, our children, our family, when they go through tough times. So we want to help you avoid many of the pitfalls. We want you to know we believe in your ability, even when you don't, to heal and grow. And we believe that one day, with God's help, you can have a life of meaning and purpose. But here's what I want to say. Change is really hard. We don't change easily. And that's why it's so important to get the school, uh, skills and the tools needed. But real transformation only comes from the Lord and a relationship with Jesus. So one of the things we're going to do in this group of Christian women is point out the things, the lies you believe. What is your view of God? Do you see him as punitive and critical? Do you see God as a loving God who's helping you? In Psalm 37, starting in verse 23, we read, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will not fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Another uh, verse in Psalm says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. So not only are you doing it with the women in the group, but we're going to constantly bring you back to the truth that with Christ, real transformation is possible and doable. So finally, I just want to finish with a story. You've probably had the experience you've been driving somewhere in an area you're not familiar with, and you finally realize you're lost and you need directions. Now, even the GPS, this morning I had some mulch delivered to my garden and the man was telling me 
how the GPS was taking him about this, uh, by this dirt bumpy road and he had enough sense to figure out, no, that's not gonna work. So even the GPS sometimes sends us in the wrong direction. Well, years ago, in an effort to save money, I attended a conference that I stayed with my brother. It was in Vermont and I didn't wanna stay at the hotel where the conference was held. But my brother lived out in rural Vermont and all the directions how to get to the conference use major highways. So before I set out the first morning, my sister-in-law gave me instructions and she said, I'm not sure this is the best way to get you there, but I'm pretty sure you'll get there this way. So as I traveled all these back bumpy roads, I had this nagging feeling, there's gotta be another way to get there. And when I was ready to leave the conference center that day, I asked, um, does anybody know another way to get me back? And nobody did. So this was a three day conference. The next morning I got up and I had borrowed a car of my brother's and it failed to start. So I had to call emergency road service. And the very kind man came and not only did he get my car started, but I told him where I was going. And he said, oh, I go that way all the time. Not many people know those roads. And then he explained and I wrote down all the details of how to get there. He saved me 40 minutes in each direction. Why do I tell you this story? Because the best advice, the best expertise comes from someone who knows where we come from, where we are today and where we wanna go. And even more importantly, they have successfully traveled that journey or those roads themselves. Let me say this again, the most beneficial advice comes from people who understand where we are, where we wanna go, and they too have made that successful journey. I can tell you years ago when I was facing a divorce, even though I was a licensed psychologist and still am in Pennsylvania, when I was facing uh, the loss of my health job and marriage, I knew I had to grieve all my losses, but I had no idea how to rebuild because nobody ever taught me. So if you're at that place where you want the skills, you want the tools, you want the encouragement, you want the support, join Rebuild After Divorce. Today's the last day to register. And if you miss it, you can sign up for the wait list, but I can tell you it'll be several months before it opens again. So I hope to see you inside the Rebuild membership where you can begin the journey to a new beginning.